Good afternoon, everyone. This is Prophetess Straker. I am here for our midday prayer. <laughs> I hope you guys are off to an amazing day. I know I've had an eventful morning here in the office, but nevertheless, God is still worthy to be praised and to be glorified. I'm so thankful that you joined me on today for this midday prayer. Um, I'm doing this, you know, our ministry is in the midst of fasting for the month of January. And so we just try to encourage each other um, in any way that we can. And so I just decided to make it public um, and to share our midday prayer with you or my midday prayer um, with you. And so I'm going to give you the opportunity to log in, to share, to say hello. Unfortunately, I'm not fancy yet, so I don't have like a reverse screen where I can see when you pop up and then as soon as you say hello, I can say hello back, but all things um, in its timing. And so today I'm actually going to just pray for the mind, right? I'm going to pray for the mind because a lot of people, we let our minds wonder and we know that an idle mind is the devil's workshop, but we also know that the Lord told us in his word that they whose mind is stayed on him, that he would keep it in perfect peace. And so a lot of us, you know, our thoughts are racing. It's all over the place. I submit to you that you need to focus and put your mind on the Lord. Um, I got today's uh, prayer prompt from Brianna. And she's like, I'm feeling like <laughs> you should pray for the mind and for people to be positive and things of that nature. And so sometimes it's extremely difficult, especially with all of the hustle and the bustle that's going on. It's hard sometimes to stay focused. Um, it is so very easy to be distracted. Um, but rather than being distracted, I am challenging you to focus on God, to focus on his voice, to focus on his word, Focus on what he told you. Focus on what he's doing in your life. And I think that would help your mind to, you know, recalibrate and come to a sound and peaceful place. And so if that being all, I'm going to go ahead and open up with our midday prayer. Hallelujah. You guys pray for me. because I got a lot going on. <laughs> A lot going on, Lord God, and I need you, Lord. Hallelujah. God, we just bless your name this morning, this afternoon. We give your name the praise, the honor, and all the glory. We exalt you, Father, because truly you are God. And we thank you, Father, for everything that you are and everything that you've re revealed yourself as to us. We give your name the praise and we just bless you, Father, for this day that we have never seen before, a day that was not promised to us, but yet, Lord, you saw fit to allow us to breathe. And for that, we say thank you. We use our breath on today and we give your name glory and humble adoration. We exalt you, Lord. We just magnify your name. We thank Thank you for your presence that's with us. We thank you, Lord God, that you don't leave us, neither do you forsake us. We glorify your name because you are God and you're in a class all by yourself. You are hollowed and you are high and lifted up. You are the author and the finisher of our faith, O oh Lord. You're a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And for that, we say thank you. We thank you, Father, because you are a light unto our path and you're a lamp unto our feet. We bless your name, Father, because when everything else fails, God, you remain remain constant in our lives. And so we just exalt your name. We give your name the praise because we love you, Lord God. And so we lavish our praise on you like oil and we ask that you would receive it as a sweet smelling savor. We glorify you, O King. Holy is the Lord. The whole earth is full with his glory. It's filled with his glory, and we just bless your name, Father. We cry hallelujah on today, hey, Nasaya. We praise you, Father. We magnify you. We extol you. Hallelujah, because you have been so good to us. You've been merciful, and you've been kind, and for that, we say thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your unfailing love. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Lord God, just for being here. Thank you for being long suffering. Thank you for being slow to anger. Thank you, Lord God. Uh, we just bless your name on today and we ask, Father, if there's anything that we've done to offend you. 
that you would forgive us in the name of Jesus. We ask, Father, that you would forgive us of all of our sins, those that we know and those that we don't, sins of omission and commission. We just ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Uh, we ask, God, that you would realign us and that you would help us, Father, to walk and to live and to speak and to move according to your word in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, I lift the minds of your people up before your face. We understand, Father, that the mind is the devil's workshop. We understand, Lord God, excuse me, because you told us in your word uh, that so as a man thinketh, then so is he. We understand, Father, that we've got to get our mind right. We've got to gain our ground. We've got to regain our footing. We've got to be intentional about the thoughts that we think. You told us, Lord, according to your word, to think on things that are pure, think on things that are honest, think on things that are lovely, think on things that are of a good rapport. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, you told us, Lord, to think on these things uh, we ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would just help us. Uh, because when we would do right, evil is forever present. Uh, and that that we would to do, Father, it is those things that we do not do. Uh, and that that we would not to do, it is those things that we find ourselves doing. Uh, we find our minds wandering about aimlessly. We find ourselves, God, just drifting sometimes. Uh, when we understand that we're supposed to be intentional because you already told us what to think on. Uh, and so, Father, we ask that you would help us in our weak place. Uh, <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, please excuse me. And you would help us in our weak place in Jesus' name. Uh, we ask that the mind of Christ would be also in us in the name of Jesus. Uh, we ask God that you would help us to just meditate on your word day and night in the name of Jesus. Uh, we ask, Father, that you would help us to be steadfast and unmovable in our thinking. Uh, help us to be more positive. Help us, Father, to have thoughts that are filled and laced with faith uh, in the name of Jesus. Because you told us, Lord, that faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that we cannot see. Help us to simply believe, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, because we understand that if we can believe it, that we can have it. And so, Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would just help your people take out the, th the toxic thoughts, Lord, the toxic things that plague our mind, the thoughts that aren't even ours, the thoughts that the enemy has interjected, Lord. And we find ourselves meditating on those thoughts. We ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would give us the wisdom and the discernment to be able to differentiate, Lord God, the the thoughts that have come from the enemy and the thoughts that come from you in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for just recalibrating our mind. We thank you for peace, Lord, that surpasses all understanding. We thank you, Father, for putting us into a sound and stable place in the name of Jesus because you understand, Father, that so many are fasting, so many are turning down their plate, so many are trying, Lord God, and even in the press, there are still so many that get so discouraged because of the thoughts that are being interjected into their spirit. But right now, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every high thing that would exalt itself above the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And I cast it down in Jesus' name. And I drive it back to the pit from whence it came. And I declare that Jesus is Lord and you are ruler of heaven and of earth. I declare, Father, that you are still seated on the throne. I declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, and I say that there is none that can move you, none that can stop you, none that can stay the works of your hands. And so I bless your name, Lord God, and I give your name the praise. And I ask God that you would just be a help, that you would be a guide, that you would be a comforter. In the name of Jesus, that you would direct us, Lord God. In Jesus' name, help us to aim our thoughts. Help us to be intentional. Help us to be focused, Lord God. Help us to guard our thoughts. Help us to guard our hearts in the name of Jesus. Help us, God, not to waste time on idle thoughts and on idle things and on past hurts and past experiences in the name of Jesus. But but Father, I pray that we will begin to think on the things that you have prepared for our lives, uh, that we will begin to think on your word, that we would hide ourselves in your word, uh, that we will bathe our mind with your scriptures, Lord God, uh, that you will purify our thoughts in the name of Jesus. Uh, for there are some God they are, uh, that the thoughts need to be sanctified. They say, uh, and so, Father, we ask you now in Jesus' name uh, that you will sanctify our minds in Jesus' name. Uh, oh, God, help us to think according to your word. Help us, God, uh, that we will line 
line up even in private in Jesus name and I say oh my I say uh, but we understand Lord that no man knoweth the heart of man save the spirit of that man which is you uh, and so father we bless your name on today uh, and we give your name the praise we declare the victory in every area of our life uh, in the name of Jesus we ask God that you will look down upon the minds of the young people uh, we ask oh God because we understand that there is grace built into the youth uh, because you said in your word God that when they are children they do childish things uh, but father I ask you in the name of Jesus that you would even help the young people to think right uh, that you would get their minds together father in the name of Jesus uh, we just bless your name on today we magnify you uh, we exalt you father and we give your name the praise because you're so worthy of it uh, and we say thank you Lord uh, hallelujah for all things thank you for your presence uh, thank you for your power thank you for your renewed strength Lord God uh, thank you Lord God for your patience for your kindness thank you for your grace uh, and thank you for your mercy we give your name the honor and we give your name the praise in Jesus name we pray amen amen thank you Lord God please excuse me hallelujah my throat's a little dry and so as a result I'm coughing I don't think I really had anything to drink today thank you Lord God but I pray that this prayer was a blessing to you I pray that you will remember to be intentional when you find yourself drifting away in your mind sometimes even when you're on social media and going through your phone you just find yourself scrolling aimlessly and before you know it 30 minutes are gone an hour is gone and it's time that you could never get back so when you find yourself you know quicken your own spirit and begin to move and begin to do something different turn to the Bible app begin to read the scriptures Begin to focus on the scriptures that are in divine alignment with even your dreams and the things that you desire to accomplish. If you're an entrepreneur, there are hordes of scriptures about business in the Bible. You understand? So you can begin to meditate on those things and it'll help bring, you know, your dreams to fruition. Whatever it is, just take authority over the thoughts that are plaguing your mind and replace those thoughts with something good. Replace them with the word of God. Replace unbelief with belief. Thank you, Lord. And if you struggle believing, you can just simply say, Lord, help thou my unbelief because we all get there sometimes. Don't let anybody tell you that they always walk in faith 100% percent of the time because it's not true. Hallelujah. You've got to build yourself up sometimes in certain areas of your life. I don't care if you've been saved 30 years or if you've been saved two months. The fact of the matter is that you're not going to always believe God. Hallelujah. And sometimes you need to ask him to help you so that you can simply believe him. He loves you just that much that he's willing to help you to do that. So don't be discouraged. Don't be down. Don't be depressed. Don't be oppressed. Don't focus on the negative, but begin to focus on the positive. I submit to you what did God say to you? What did God say to you about you? What did he say about his plans concerning you? And once you have the answer to that, you focus on that. And you might say, well, prophetess, I really don't know because God doesn't speak to me. Well, he speaks in 66 books. Hallelujah. You can open up that Bible and you can find out what God is saying to you. You can start out with the promises of God, the promises that God has given to absolutely every believer. Hallelujah. And if that's you, then that means he's speaking to you and you can focus on those things. I pray that you have an amazing day. Until we meet again, continue to pray for me and I will do the same. Goodbye.